Okay, this is the second half of our hyperbola review, and this is going to be number 44 from page 688. And what we need to do is put this in standard form. Even though it's really messy looking right now, definitely not standard form. I do know it's a hyperbola because the x is squared and the y is squared, and one is positive and one is negative. So I know if the signs are different, it has to be a hyperbola. So what you're going to do is get your x's together if there's more than just an x squared, and there definitely is. Then I want to put your y's together. So we're going to do that. And then move this constant to the other side. So remember this has to be a 1, so you want to factor that out. Okay, and let's just go ahead and finish this side right here. Remember to find this magic number right here. You half it and square it. Half of two is one, one squared is one, so you want to add one to both sides. Now make sure you realize you didn't just add one, you really added five. So come over here and add five. Because what you do on one side, you've got to do on the other. Now, the whole reason you did this is so you could write this as something squared. So make sure you're able to fill this spot in here. This is an x squared, so this is just going to be a boring x, because that's how we would x squared would give you that. The way you can get this value here is whatever you got when you took half of this. Half of a positive 2 is a positive 1. It's kind of cool the way that works. All right. Now, again, remember this has to be a 1, and it's not, so we're going to factor out a negative 3. Watch your signs here, because... Right here, this negative and a negative is what makes that positive, okay? So, let's play this game. Half of this is 4, and when you square it, you get 16. Now, be careful, because really what you did here was you have a negative 48. So, come over here and make sure you subtract 48. All right, so what do we have here? The whole reason we did this is so we could write this as something squared. You've got a y here. Half of this would be a negative 4. And let's see what you get on the other side. That would be, what, 78 minus 48. Looks like that's going to give you a lovely, what, 30? You're almost there, but this has to be a 1. So we're going to divide everything by 30. And that 5 will go in there 6 times, so I'm left with x plus 1 squared over 6 minus, let's see, 3 will go into that 10 times, so I have y minus 4 squared over 10 equals 1. This is be your answer of a hyperbola in standard form, and if it asks you the center, I can't remember what I did, but your center would be negative 1, 4, because it's what makes it 0, okay? All right, last one that we're going to do for the review is 52. I think I did 54, or let me see, I did 58 in class. This one's a little more simple, but um, it's, it's fine for what you need to be able to do. Go ahead and plot what you know. These are huge numbers. I just kind of eyeballed it out here. I, call, I labeled this 40, 0, and here would be negative 40, 0. So basically, I can definitely tell the center is 0, 0. So that's kind of nice, okay? It's a hyperbola. It told me that. Okay, I would need to know it's a hyperbola. Since these are my vertices, I know it looks like this. It's opening to the side, and I'm looking through my phone, so I'm missing my points. But my hyperbola is going to look something like that. It gave me the point right here of my foci to be negative 41. Here's a positive 41. Okay, because it opens side to side, here's what I know. All hyperbolas look like this equals 1. Since I'm at 0, 0, that's pretty simple. I can leave that right there. Now I moved side to side. Look how far you moved. You moved a distance of 40. Good grief, that's a lot. And it was sideways. 40 squared, oh my gosh, is what, 1600? Huge number. So under the x, I want to put 1600. Here's what I need to know that I don't know. Okay, but they gave me the foci. Okay, realize my foci is the distance from here to here. That's your c value. So my c value is 41. 
So C squared, too bad I don't have a calculator here, but 41 times 41, this is what I get. Um, 1861, hopefully that's right. 0, 4, 16, 1, 8, okay. See, I always get nervous when I'm on the phone. But that would be C squared. Because remember your equation is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So here you have 1681. For the A squared, I get 1600. So hopefully you can see B squared would have to be 81. So right up here, I would substitute in 81 and that would be my answer. And that's all you would need to do. Have fun.